What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we discuss Project Mark 7 plans to go lower. <laughs> After doing some research, a ton of it, um, I finally decided what kind of coilovers I wanted to run in my car. I made this decision based on a few things. Um, I wanted coilovers that were not too expensive. Um, I wanted something that was still reputable, um, something that you know people use very often and have really good reviews about. And I also wanted something that was very close to stock with a slightly tighter feeling whenever you're planning to uh, track a car or whenever you're planning on going to some canyon runs or some back uh, roads, uh, things that are gonna need obviously a little bit tighter suspension. Along with all my other suspension mods, I wanted to be this, I wanted this to be sort of an addition um, to what I already had um, in terms of helping the handling of the car. Now, I am not a fan of spending ridiculous amounts of money on suspension parts or a single piece for the vehicle, especially if it's something that's not necessary for what I want to achieve with the car. So obviously this is a 90% daily driven vehicle, 10% um, um, competition or, or at least I would like it to be um, maybe just a once a month kind of thing or once every couple of months kind of thing. Uh, maybe taking it out to the track, things like that. And uh, I know I've been talking about taking it out to the track for a very long time, but honestly, time has been something that has not been on my side lately. Before I introduce you to the coilovers I got, and if you guys are following me on Instagram, then you know exactly what I got already. So, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's gonna be right over here for you. And that way you kind of keep track of what we're going, what's going on um, with the Mark 7 or what project uh, B5. So, I chose these coilovers because I wanted it to remain as close to stock um, feel as possible with giving me a slightly better drop. That is one of the reasons why I chose this particular set of coilovers. Um, also, I wanted to get something that was a name brand that was obviously reputable. Uh, so these coilovers are not KWs, but they are the closest thing to KW because it's made by KW. That probably gave it away. If you guys haven't figured it out already, I went with ST uh, Suspensions coilover kit, their base coilover kit that's not self-adjusting in terms of dampening, um, but it is height adjustable, so you can adjust a, I believe it's somewhere around one to two and a half inches or two and a quarter inches. I can't remember exactly, but I will put it right here, um, exactly what the height adjustments are. Um, I plan to go slightly uh, more dropped in the front. The rears are probably gonna stay about the same, uh, because I have a very aggressive offset and uh, I don't want things to rub. Let's go through what's in this box and what you can expect from the kit. So you'll get a box in the mail that looks kind of like this one or exactly like this one. Um, and I've already taken off the braces that I had around here. Uh, but let's pop this open and see what's inside. It looks like we have some important documents. You guys didn't believe that this was made by KW? This says it right in the front. Um, it says engineered by KW suspension and the difference between these and the actual V1s is that Well, the V1s are stainless steel where these are um, Galvanized steel and a zinc coated Because uh, obviously we want to make sure that they don't rust out um, Especially in New York. Obviously these things I can't read whatever that Eon by just Hyun Weizen that obviously means installation instructions. So I just learned how to read, I believe, German. Yeah. And if you want to learn how to say certificate in uh, German is Gutaschten. Oh, Gutaschten. I can say that one. All right. So um, you do have some, I guess, certificate of authenticity um, and then ways to register it for warranty purposes. I don't know what the warranty on these coilovers is exactly but uh, there is some good information on here and they also give you installation instructions for your particular vehicle now these things are going to be priced up pretty well um, and there's also pretty padded all around to prevent these things from getting hurt in shipping now these would be the rears and these are yellow only you can't choose the color 
So I wouldn't want to chose the color. I would want yellow. It's a nice yellow progressive spring. These things shouldn't be too bad to install. Um, and I'll show you guys how to install them. I'm sure there are plenty of videos um, all over the place on how to install coilovers. But I'll show you, uh, you know, where I pretty much adjust these and uh, how I do it. So it looks like it comes with bump stops and everything already installed. This adjusting cup is going to be for uh, the rear suspension, but they do not give you a top hat for uh, the front coilovers. So that's kind of a bummer. You need to make sure that you remove your top, top hats from your current coilovers and then um, just slap them on these. Now, for the most part, what I've been reading is that everyone kind of spins them all the way down and then comes up a few uh, little notches or little rings and then uh, leaves it there for adjusting. Now, the most important part about keeping a coilover like this one is maintenance, really. Uh, because they are not stainless steel, um, you want to make sure that the threads are always clean and uh, the coilovers themselves are always clean. Uh, whenever you can so I would suggest maybe once every couple months just you know get down there underneath and pull the wheel out and uh, See if they're dirty or clean them up just holes them down just to get all the loose dirt and bar them off And then maybe once every six months or so I actually get a full cleaning out of these but they do look very good It looks very well constructed um, Which is a plus uh, I'm really hoping that these things are as good as the reviews say and they are as close to stock as possible because uh, I really don't feel like losing that stock feel uh, when that I have for my H&R springs. So let's put these back in the box and go back up top. So based on the time frame of my videos, it looks like we will be installing these next week. So I'm very excited for it. Um, I will give you some first impressions. I'll show you how to install them anyway, or uh, how I'll go through installing it. And uh, I'll give you some first impressions on them and I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I hope to be pleasantly surprised with, uh, with the ride quality. And uh, I'm really hoping that these things actually end up much better um, than my my h &R. So that's pretty much going to close out the video, guys. If you guys want to um, obviously keep up with the build or with both builds on Instagram, the Instagram is jsmark7. Uh, make sure you go follow me on there if you are on there. Um, and uh, that way you can kind of stay up to date with a lot of things because I only see you guys twice a week. My Instagram page, I see every day. So see you guys in the next one. Thank you for joining. Peace out.